universal basic income. So if you think about it, everyone's talking about how they want money for college, they want money for this and that and da-da-da-da. Instead of doing all that stuff, why not just do universal basic income? You give every U.S. citizen above 18 $1,000 a month, and then the people who want to use that for college can put that towards college. People, you know, um, people who, um, instead of doing Section 8 housing, um, which is a lot of, that's a whole mess, because a lot of times you're paying people who are unemployed to live in top dollar zip codes when you they could be living somewhere else for less money. But anyways, the point being is you would need to do Section 8 anymore. You wouldn't need to do this SSI stuff where you're paying people for their mental problems, which is arbitrary as all anything. I mean, anybody could claim that they have mental issues. Why does this person get money and this person doesn't for those types of things? So we could go on and on and on and talk about certain welfare programs that we could get rid of. And then again, it would help these things that everyone's complaining about, like college. Or obviously, if people um, need to supplement their health care, there you go. There, that can supplement the health care. Uh, people are talking about health care woes, costs. So this universal basic income, and then it, you know, for the people who are out working, it's an extra added thing. Um, to, it's like a bonus, and it's like that just to help people, like reward people who are out in our society actually working. Um, now, the cost of it, how are you going to pay for it? I know the person who I first heard, and most of us heard presenting it in modern times, in America, and Mr. Andrew Yang, who ran for president, um, you know, my first ob- objection to it was, well, how's, is that gonna, you know, is it fair how, you know, he's talking about paying for it? That was one of my objections. And I don't necessarily know how, I don't really feel that just taxing corporations is the answer to that. If you think about it, a lot of that money is going to be, um, a lot of the money that people get with that, they're going to be using it to buy material goods. So if you think about it in another way, what about is it possible or doable to say we're going to use sales tax as a mainstay to fund that? Maybe we need to add a national sales tax. Maybe at the same time as that we get rid of something like the federal income tax, like a lot of other groups have been talking about for many years. Um, if we add, get rid of federal income tax and add this national sales tax, um, you know, I'm just picturing, picture we have a national sales tax that's like 10 cents to the dollar, and you split it up between state, local, and federal, and or again, I don't know, maybe at the end of the day, you would, you'd have to run the numbers and do the math, maybe you would need, you would need all of that to fund this UBI, universal basic income, um, it could also we could also talk about replacing social security with this UBI and and how that would work out instead of doing social security for people's retirement if we had this UBI well there you go there's that thousand dollars a month coming in that could help people out so it's a lot to talk about but I think it could be you know some economists would cringe at it these you know conservative economists and I'm like I understand where they're coming from but at the same time if you look at it that it covers a whole bunch of things and we're going to get rid of different forms of welfare it actually could be like a blessing in disguise so just putting it out there for discussion and for people to think about it in broad ways but again it should be you know something that's equitable and we have to think how are we going to pay for it and is it fair what we are taxing or how we're going to source the income to pay for it um just saying you're going to tax corporations well how's that fair that's like saying that it, you're giving a benefit to someone who's a small business i mean if you put an all across the board business tax that would be one thing but again then people would complain about that so Something that we all contribute to, we all pay into, is sales tax. And so that's why I bring that up to see and suggest, is that doable? So anyways, just putting it out there for a suggestion. Hope and a great future.